So we were able to identify why our static wasn't actually showing up. And it has to do with the static root and how Web Faction actually um, shows the static files. So what we're gonna do here is actually get rid of this static root setting. And we're gonna go back and take a look at what's being loaded currently, which is going static and then static root. So it's actually going to that one step folder over. Uh, and that's because of how we actually set up the settings in general. So if we take a look at our website, we see that static itself is being served there. So the root of that file is being served there. So we're gonna actually add another folder here and we're gonna call it media. And then inside of here, we want it to be static as well and static only. So this is also static. In this case, it's gonna be served by just media. So we save that. So now it's being served in two separate places. Static and media are in two separate places. So we wanna actually update this media static and we just called it media, even though I should have probably called it MVP land media. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try that one more time, create a new application and I'll call it MVP land media. Just in case if you use a different project or something, you don't wanna get it too confusing. So let's, let's be smart about it from the get-go. So media, and now I'm gonna save that. All right, so now we have media and static served separately. And then we go into our media itself. So MVP land static works. And now I'm gonna change this to MVP land media. Uh, so those slight setting changes will actually help everything for us. So let's bring back our code and we're gonna just bring this right over. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply to all, hit replace. And then now I wanna just talk about this really quickly is how I figured this out. Um, now, first of all, if it's not being loaded from the static itself, um, this is because, well, it would have made me think, okay, there's something with this setting right here. And it's likely gonna happen. Sometimes it'll happen exactly like it did and sometimes it won't. And I knew that that last folder here was actually static root, right? So I actually added an additional folder there. Um, but something like this, you could learn from experience by doing it. You could also just contact WebFaction directly. They would have been able to identify this very quickly uh, for you, just like I was able to do on my own. Um, so if you do get stuck with aesthetic stuff, just shoot them an email. They'll often be able to handle it very quickly because they can actually look at your server where I would not be able to, or my team would not be able to look at your server because we don't have access to your WebFaction account. And that's not something that we do at this time. Okay, so that's something to think about. All right, now that we've got that up there, we can go ahead and run collect static again. So inside of our Django project, um, it appears that our SSH session has been frozen again. So I'm gonna just go ahead and close it. And that's just timing out. You could wait for a second and do it, but I'm not gonna do that. So I go ahead and SSH in again. So I'm just gonna type in my password here. Log in, okay. So CD web apps cd mvp land and notice now we have mvp land media and mvp land static we do have a couple that we don't need in here so remove rf media we don't need that anymore uh oops not rfe but just rf that's not letting me from here okay so here's an example of like you can't just remove it on the command line you'll have to do that in the actual uh web app or excuse me inside of web factions uh applications list this is actually where you would delete certain applications so let's go ahead and delete this media one because we do not need that and I'll also delete mvp landing because we also do not need that one we just need mvp land so i'm going to go ahead and let that happen all right so now that that's working we're going to go now into mvp land again and we're going to change into the source and we'll do python 2.7 manage.py collect static so this is collecting the static files again, and now it's going into directly into static. We say, yes, great. Um, so now we can restart the server again, which is dot slash dot dot slash Apache two slash bin slash restart. Again, this is coming from a lot of experience as to where Apache two is. If you were confused at all, you could just go back and see that Apache two is here. So you could just do dit, Apache two bin restart. I've just done it so many times that I know basically where it is at all times. Um, okay, cool. So now that it's restarted, uh, we can go back in here, refresh. Notice that our static files are coming through, but more importantly, 
our web page looks correct. There we go, and we're all logged in. Um, so if I log out and go to the homepage, boom, we now have our site up and running. Um, if you got here, congratulations, it's really exciting. You can now launch this and send it out. But there is one more thing that I still wanna talk about, and that's this domain name right here. We want to use a real domain name, not a subdomain name. So a real domain name would be something closer to like how Web Factional is. That's a real domain name. Subdomain name is CFE Deploy. So we would want our site on something like maybe like MVPLanding.com or Programming for Entrepreneurs or TryDango.com. We could put it everywhere at this point. Um, so this actually works now. Uh, there is still a few things that we want to see. And something like this, you don't want really a not found page just like this. Um, and also if there's a server error, you don't want to see a 500 server error there either. So in the next one, we are gonna do the domain stuff and those error pages, the default error pages when those occur. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep going.